All right, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Got my uh, dwarf African strain growing I'm gonna work on today. I haven't done anything with it for just about six months, just a little short of six months. Uh, generally speaking, a tree like this, I mean, this is over a rock. You can barely see the trunk on it. Once I thin it out here a little bit, you know, you guys will be able to see it out, you know, quite a bit better. I've had it for about three years. Uh, when I put it on the rock, I put it on the rock probably about two and a half years ago. And, you know, it was one of these things where I thought, well, I'll leave it in here for like three or four years and it'll envelop it. I think I may, may be able to achieve that, but I think it'll be six or seven years from now. So I'll probably just kind of leave it like this until then. It's got plenty of room to grow in there and everything. And you can see it's, it's you know, perfectly healthy. Drains fine and everything. So I know I can leave it in there for a while. But so far, you know, when you cut pruning tips... That's what causes the, you know, ramification and back budding and everything else when you actually cut a pruning, pruning tip off. This should be a good branch to show you what I'm talking about. If you cut the pruning tip off, you'll get growth, you know, coming out of all the nodes there where the leaves are. When you just defoliate, which some people get really stuck on defoliating, if you just defoliate and leave all the growing tips, well, it'll just keep growing out of that. And actually the leaves keep getting bigger and bigger and you, and you actually don't get much back budding because you left the growing tip. You take the growing tip, reaction with the auxins and everything else, that will get it back budding, you know, further back. Usually I prune and defoliate and so I'll just, you know, start at the top, cutting all the growing tips off and everything and then pretty much, you know, defoliating and then just seeing what I've got. Uh, with this tree here, just because I've, I've got so much ramification going with it, it's kind of going for a little bit of a swamp creature look. And this thing, you know, when you talk about back budding and everything, this thing will actually back bud now wait, all the way back to the trunk. Those are just, you know, little little spurts coming out from under there. And I think if I start by just kind of taking out some of the crotch growth and the straight down gro growth, clean the trunk up a little, should give me a lot better of an idea of what it is I'm looking at. And you can already start seeing the trunk a little bit better. That was kind of most of the, the low straight down growth. And get some of the straight up growth now. This I noticed, and you guys might not, might not be able to see it all that great, but a lot of this stuff on the interior coming from the old chops I made and some of them almost look like they're turning into like a burl. Really soft wood. So I just hit with that with the knob cutters. This branch here, isn't in the greatest of spots because it's got more branching beyond it and it's kind of growing towards itself a little bit, if you will. There's a big chop scar there. I don't know how good the camera angle is. You should be able to see that chop scar there at all. But that actually was where there was a higher part to it. I tried to air layer it off, it failed. I read articles that say that this is some of the easiest material to take from cuttings, this uh, strangler type of a ficus or whatever I've had no luck at all I've had I've tried to take small cuttings I've tried to take fairly thick ones and then I tried that as an air layer I've had no luck yet leaving this branch or a cluster of branches in the hopes that that would just kind of finish healing that scar up doing a decent job I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit I 
am going to get a couple of these longer shoots, just some of them I'd like to keep. Keep the growing tips, like I said, just to kind of let these you know, somewhat elongate and just become a little more Alright, so that pretty much took care of all the obvious growth I feel like needs to go. I've started noticing that a lot of these spots here that are the busiest actually all look like they're coming from what looks like a real nasty looking burl. And there you should be able to see that, yeah. I think it's a, just a little fat knot and all the growth is coming from that, like that one spot. Now, you know, as I thin things out, I was just thinking, I mean, this is kind of a side thought when I was thinking about that, actually, is as I th thin things out, I think I'm going to take the knob cutter to some of those burls just because it seems like as I trim stuff off of it, it might just start popping out from the same spot again. Now that I thin that out, you might be able to see that a little bit better. That burl on the end. And so, it's not, well, it's actually probably not a burl, but... So I'm just going to prune some of those off. This is definitely a type of tree I'd never use, uh, I'd never use cut paste on. It'd probably get aerial roots coming out from it. I am going to go ahead. This was an aerial root here that did not make it. Or it might have been just a root. I noticed that the, the bark's kind of wrapping around the other live roots there but it's not really wrapping around the dead one. And that's pretty much that side thinned out. This side you know, this this used to have that piece coming, that bigger piece coming straight up out of there. And so this side was kind of looking a little apex-like. I chopped that in order to try to keep it a little more balanced and somehow or another pushed a ton of growth, growth over this way. A little bit of a closer look at it now. And what I originally started out, I really didn't intend to uh, put any wire on it. Alright, I got the wire on there. I did have a couple thoughts. One thought is, this branch here probably does not belong there's a there's actually a scar on it right there and I think I even remember I broke it to kind of turn it away so that it wouldn't be just straight out I think it's in one of the other videos and now that I'm looking at it I can't figure out first off why I'm why I kept it at all or second off why I didn't break it this way but either way I already had it you know I already had the wire on there and I anchored it to this one so I decided to go ahead and leave it and then just in full disclosure and it'll be the uh, the first one I bend is this one was another sprout that came off the side of that wound there. It was low, that's why I wanted to keep the high one. It was, uh, uh, had very little movement in it, like, you know, right now. As I was testing the flexibility of it, I broke right there. And so, when I go to, I'm going to go ahead and bend this one first. When I bend it, I, would, I think I could have gotten like a good solid three turns out of it. But now I think I'm going to have to be happy with one.
This one, talk about this one's the one that might go. And get a little bit brave here with the turn on it. If you guys could hear that, that broke a little bit, but right there by that scar, that might actually help. And then the last one here. Just using that to separate that those two uh, forks there. And that should help a little. That was even, you know, part of the reason why I even put the wire on there is you can see in some of these spots here, right here, some of the old wire scars that are healing up that I think are actually really helping with uh, some of the, oh, shall we say, character of the tree or whatever. And then I wanted to show you guys just one last thing. That is, I'm going to try, you know, the rock is on this side of it. If I do decide to keep the rock, even if I don't decide to keep the rock, whenever I go to repot it into something a little more show worthy, it's going to have to be at a little more of an angle, something like that. Maybe even a little bit higher than that. Let me test something out here. So that's one possible kind of a finished looking angle there. If I wind up with the rock in the front of it, that would be a little more of what the possibility would be. And then the other side would look something like that. I think if I went back and watched that old video about that branch that I feel like should have went, I feel like maybe I said something about that with the uh, with the possible per permanent you know angle change one day, but that's what it is for today.